love, from love, hope, from hope, peace, from peace. May all the people of the earth let your heart not be troubled in these days of World War Z. Pray for Putin so that he does not have to be assassinated for. There are four prophecies from four prophets uh, all recorded here at this channel if you want to hear them. Famous people, Gregory Rasputin, uh, Hildegard of uh, Benjamin, who is a canonized saint of the Roman Catholic Church, uh, prophecy by Kim Clement and Daniel. The book of Daniel clearly says that the king of the north would suddenly be found nigh. And this is the cat uh, that chases the the rats that become the mice that eat the cat, Rasputin said. So in these days, it is time to realize uh, that the Lord God is now saying that I am the Lord God who shall curse Russia and shall cause these days to be cut short, just as the living word of God declared in uh, Matthew 24, 22. Uh, if that did not happen, no flesh could survive because it's the thermonuclear button that Putin would push otherwise. So in this hour, the Lord says, understand that for all Russian people that will not run from that cat, uh, that all Russian pieces, people will fall into pieces and uh, they will become demented souls as terror overtakes them and they will finally find the oblivion uh, head that that they're, they didn't even know that they were looking for. Oh, how sad it is that even now the Lord says, I do love such evil ones anyways, because there is no good man. No, not even one, uh, Romans 3.10. And the word of God says that our heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And so there is uh, no none that have been good except Emmanuel, the Son of God. And for this day, so shall it be, the Lord says that I will increasingly curse all Russian people not, not obeying my commandment to lay down your weapons so mankind can learn the ways of war no more as people beat their swords into the sickle and know that every russian not hearing uh, hearing this word of god and not obeying it will soon discover that you're becoming as a lowly sign and as a dismal wonder unto all those around you within the world. And so shall it be that even upon your descendants forever, so shall your shame go forth down uh, the road of the generations if you are supporting that madman of Moscow. Uh, so thus saith the Lord God, he is our excellence, our admirable, and our absolute commander. And he says, because such lovers of bloodshed as uh, the disgraced pariah Putin has, because he is not serving love, uh, he has no joy, and there is no gladness of heart, for the abundance within him is only sickness created by the sin that he has secretly done. And so shall it be that such people like him, uh, pariahs of the world, uh, the, 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 the curse of all humanity, men like that shall evermore serve their enemies before their last dying breaths. And so let every lover of Putin, the follower of Satan's residual path that will lead him to the outer darkness where there's wailing and nailing of uh, wailing and gnashing of teeth let them all come to see says the lord god all people of russia opposing the peacefulness that ukraine deserves and needs your brothers of other mothers if you are opposed unto to them I shall be your curse. I shall be your hater of all people that are haters. And I shall be your funeral director. For I shall now send forth against all enemies of the Ukraine such a multitude of horrors against such demented soldiers if you continually rebuke uh, my word. Uh, and so stand now 
or atrocities will be poured out of your boils and I shall come down my fist upon you and it shall come forth in the daytime and in the nighttime in in sadness shall you hunger and in thirst and nakedness shall you just exist with no more prosperity in coldness of night and I declare so shall this be for I am the finality who shall not relent from the agony that I shall now send unto all murderous lovers of Putin. For I am Jehovah Nisi, the banner of hatred over all those of hatred uh, who commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. He loves people right up to the point where they let their light go right out and there's nothing he can do. So he sheds a tear as he hates not really them, as he hates their insanity. And so the Lord says, And so shall it be that I shall place great yokes of iron upon the necks of all ruthless Russian invaders until I see their worms. And so shall it be that my faithful few will now finally come to see uh, that against Russia I shall now bring forth a mighty uh, unity of NATO uh, uh, against such evil sons and daughters of terror and so shall it be from the end of the earth uh, that their troops shall fly in the skies and be swift as eagles and it's time so behold all ye cowards of the anointed uh, uh, leader Putin for the people of love shall bring forth judgment to the land of Russia uh, and uh, this world will be turned into a nuclear free globe in the name of love and so a near nation of fierce cons uh, continents is now coming against you people of Russia who in no way respects the value of worthless killers like Putin who loves bringing forth pain unto others because of his S and M fantasies. So lament then all people of terror, all people of Russia for the one person coming against you uh, will cause all of your foolishness to leak right out of your ears as you discover ways of annihilation through a power stronger than atomic power, stronger than a, a black heavy rain of destruction that repays blood for blood and sadness for sadness. And so shall it be that uh, Russia shall be besieged and all savages of Russia shall be uh, groping around in blindness, uh, looking for fortified walls as caves fall upon their heads. So let the people of Russia turn around and repent before curses can come. And before curses can come, even to Putin, I pray with all my heart that the people would pray for his salvation and that he would just surrender and uh, throw his his mercy uh, upon the court of humanity uh, but as it uh, as it stands now he's never going to make it to a judgment day his life will be taken from him and so know that the lord god says and so shall it be that my fiercest lightning shall shine forth from the east unto the west in but a moment of a moment's moment so that people will realize that i am the giver of prophecy and the manifester of all dreams and the lord god has called unto me daniel the son of hubert uh, and the very uh, proud uh, uh, father of uh, all of my kids and it's time that I'm lifting up all people of Russia if you will be loving people of Russia but if you will not it is foretold that doom and gloom shall come so let those with eyes to see now close them for uh, no one could ever be so sleepy within the darkness of their very own delusions uh, there are none so blind as those refusing to see, and there are none so deaf as those refusing to hear. So let all the sighted now see clearly the doves uh, of love coming forth 
through the Lord's most regal eagle of the eons. And it's time to bless the people of Russia, not curse them if they will turn to the ways of love. Amen. True story.